in spite of all the accusations against the sri lankan government of uh, war crimes uh, and other atrocities committed during the war the other international governments usa and other governments they continue to have naval and uh, military exercises with the sri lankan forces uh, they had these exercises during the mahinda regime and even during the present regime this government also is going ahead having all these exercises i don't know what point or what reason they have to have these exercises sometimes in a massive scale recently they had a massive scale exercise with uh, the american forces and uh, some other foreign forces and uh, there was live fire uh, exercises and all that and people get scared that the government is preparing for another war so this kind of exercises uh, in the midst of uh, unresolved war crime uh, accusations uh, these are not healthy signs for us we don't see it as positive signs for a, a peaceful future uh, the international governments they go ahead irrespective of the ro- feelings of the local people uh, in tamil nadu and also in the provincial council they say that uh, they made a decision that what happened in sri lanka was a genocide and we find different kinds of de- genocide not only genocide of the people but also cultural genocide also is going on and uh, in spite of all these decisions the international community has uh, come forward with the decisions with regard to some other countries that they had been genocides taking place in uh, some other countries like armenia and other places and uh, the same type of genocide sometimes even worse cases of genocide have been reported in sri lanka especially in the last stages of the war and uh, as long as this present government uh, does not allow any international body to come and investigate these accusations will not accu- will not find any any ground uh, the government sponsored or government appointed commission the local commission will never come to the conclusion that there will be there had been genocide taken place so that's why we ask for international investigation not only we but even in tamil nadu also they are asking for international investigation the diaspora the diaspora also is asking for international investigation Uh, only when these things come out uh, to the public by uh, thorough investigation by international experts or international judges the genocide accusation will come to light uh, now we feel that um, among, even among the tamil leaders uh, especially the tna uh, they try to lie low they say that the government is trying to find a solution so let us not disturb so government will give a solution to all these problems and uh, what the majority of the people on the ground feel is that uh, so far government has not accomplished uh, substantially any progress with regard to these grievances and uh, the tna is try- trying to say that uh, within this year government will find a solution and they will come up forward with a, a new constitution which will fulfill the aspirations of the tamils and um, so far we are not given even a hint as to what is going to come in the constitution whereas in the south majority of the people they they raise their voices say and say that uh, no power devolution no federalism and uh, i don't think the government will go against these things so in these circumstances uh, we feel that uh, the coming two months uh, or three months of this year uh, will achieve anything substantially will make a u turn and bring about a solution to the tamils and for the aspirations of the tamils so some of us or some of the tamils elected mps then they tried to say that uh, let us cooperate with the government let us not disturb the government so all these things uh, are not going to achieve anything and uh, we will go back again to the 
the position of the hardcore Sinhalese and government will try to satisfy them rather than the feelings and aspirations of the Tamil people and they will not uh, give anything meaningfully to the Tamils, especially with regard to the power devolution or with regard to the return of uh, lands or with regard to the political prisoners. And the current issue of the political prisoners where the, some of them are on hunger strike and uh, asking their cases to be uh, to be taken into the courts in the north and east and uh, even with regard to these small things the government is not making not able to make a substantial decision as to expedite the cases or transfer their cases to the north and east so these are small signs which will indicate very clearly that uh, within these three months government will not achieve anything for the betterment of the Tamil people for missing persons OMP and um, with for that government was praised by all the international community uh, uh, telling that they are going to have a commission and they are going to resolve the issue but uh, we have our own apprehensions because this commission uh, does not have any any power and uh, on the one hand they appoint the commission and on the other hand they say that this commission will have no power to implicate the army and they say the army or the, or the military will not be implicated and the government president and the, all the powerful ministers they say uh, that they will safeguard the army at any expense and uh, we know very well that uh, most of the people who are accused who are guilty for the disappearances are the soldiers and in the Paranagama commission a uh, number of evidences were able to come out with uh, clear proofs and they are able to identify even the persons who are involved in the kidnapping or the abduction of their children or husbands and uh, in the Paranakam uh, Commission did not make any any attempt to uh, file a case against them or do something about them to bring them to books or to at least produce them in the courts and uh, in the same way this Office for Missing Persons, if they conduct the inquiry and if they try to find, if they find out with some uh, real hard facts about the implication of the army and uh, army that uh, government will do any, will not do anything to uh, take action against these people. And uh, the second thing is they want to have this office in Kalambu and uh, already we have a lot of uh, difficulties with regard to the parents and relatives of the political prisoners in going to Colombo and coming back to meet them and uh, they, uh, they have nowhere to stay, they have to go to Colombo and uh, have, should have some place to stay and meet them but uh, these uh, those political prisoners are just a few, about 100 and this office for missing persons, if they have the office only in Colombo what about the relatives of about, of about 15 to 20,000 people going to Colombo and coming back who will guarantee their security, who will look after them for their travelling and all that and uh, these are all big question marks. So, they, first of all we have a lot of apprehensions for this office for missing persons and if, even if they are sincere about it, they should have the office somewhere in the north or east. They must have one piece in the north and another one in the east because there are equal number of people who are missing from the north and east. So, only if they have uh, the office in the north and east, then they will be able to at least find out some, get some facts uh, of at least a good number of people as to what happened to them. They always insist that uh, uh, the consultation and the opinion of the affected party should be respected. And here in any of these uh, suggestions given by the Sri Lankan government, uh, we clearly see no role given to the affected party. So, the affected party has a right to voice their concerns and to defend them on equal status. So, if they do not have uh, any point, any any ground to defend themselves, then uh, that will not achieve anything. For example, in a case uh, when a thief is produced, he has uh, he can appoint a lawyer to defend this case or to defend that he is innocent. So, that, that part is missing in the suggestions given by the government. Council, council or provincial government uh, is elected and they are in power and uh, sometimes the president, the chief minister says that uh, they are not given 
any indication to exercise the power. For example, a few days back uh, at Keradivu, uh, a sultan was uh, given permission by the central government to be open, but the local government or the provincial council doesn't know anything about it. Uh, the local people are against it, the provincial council doesn't know anything about it and uh, they are going, trying to go ahead with the uh, plan of establishing a sultan at Keradivu. And the local people say that it will destroy their uh, work and uh, destroy their ecosystem and they will be able to live there any longer. And also they wanted to have a hotel at Kaudarimune in the Punarin region. And the local government uh, or the provincial council does not know anything about it. They had given permission and they want to go ahead with the plan of building a hotel. So like that uh, they ignore the provincial uh, council and uh, try to go ahead with the decisions uh, made in the central government and uh, without having any regard for the local government they go ahead. And uh, the chief minister, every time when he says something, they call him an extremist. Every time when he says that uh, the lands have to be returned, the Buddhist statues which appeared overnight have to be removed, uh, and the uh, excessive settlements in these areas have to be, singular settlements have to be removed, then they call him uh, an extremist and they try to brand him as another propaganda. Right. The chief minister. Uh, reflects the minds of the people, especially whenever some foreign dignitaries or ambassadors come and meet him. And uh, he voices forward the uh, legitimate grievances of the people, unresolved issues, uh, whether it be political prisoners or missing persons accountability or the return of uh, acquired lands or the um, settlement of Sinhala families in the north in large scale and also of the reluctance of the government to share powers with the chief minister. And uh, all these come out in the papers and uh, flashed in the international media also. But in reality, government does not seem to make any positive move.